Okay. Um, welcome to Lightning Talks. The next presentation will be by Orestes. He has 15 minutes. Have fun. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. I'm uh, very happy today because it's my first time at FOSDEM, so let me introduce myself, myself a bit. My name is Orestes Mas. I'm a professor at the uh, University, Polytechnic University of Catalonia, where I teach mainly circuits, linear circuits and systems. And uh, I have a problem. The problem is uh, I need to draw circuits, no? lots of them, to be included in all sorts of uh, documents, uh, exams, uh, articles, and so on. No? Mix it with other kind of, of graphics, with function plots also, and with mathematical formulas and, and symbols. So you get the idea. So, but these circuits cannot be drawn in, a, in, a, in whatever way. Uh, instead, uh, have to fulfill certain restrictions which are more or less uh, these ones. First of all, they have to be beautiful, uh, of publishing quality. Uh, we need a large library of predefined symbols to avoid reinventing the, the wheel over and over. And uh, it's better to not mix uh, libraries from different, uh, different uh, authors because uh, you will end up with a mess of, of styles. Uh, we also it need to change the, the, the appearance of, of symbols uh, upon needs. And a thing I consider very important is a, a consistent typography between the text and the graphics. No? For instance, here you have a circuit uh, where you have some symbols over there, variables, currents, uh, voltages, and uh, uh, often you re reference, makes reference of, uh, to these symbols in the text. No? And uh, if you look at the symbols, they have a uh, 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 font. And if you later uh, change your mind, uh, mind and want to change the font, the, the graphic has to change the font too. For instance, here you have other kind of symbols and the graphic is uh, updated accordingly. No? And finally, we want to create and edit these, uh, these graphics, these, these circuits, using free tools over on free systems and, and um, saving it in free formats. So obviously there are many software packages out there to uh, draw circuits, but if you apply those restrictions, the, the list starts to shrink. No? So uh, we ended uh, by choosing, uh, first of all, LaTeX. To, um, to write a document in LaTeX for the great quality uh, it provides. And second, describe the diagrams textually in, in TIGZ, which is a subset of uh, an extension of the LaTeX language. So uh, which, with this method, we achieve perfect integration with, between text and graphics. We gain pro programmability and flexibility. Uh, maths are no problem because you have all the LaTeX power to, to typeset math. Uh, also, TIGZITA uh, has a root library to typeset uh, circuit elements, which is called uh, circuit TIGZITA. And uh, we end up with vector graphics that you can uh, enlarge and, and shrink without loss of quality. No? Here you have an, an example. Uh, in few lines, you can describe a, a graphic which is useless in this case, obviously, but uh, you uh, more or less see the, the, the power of the, of the solution, okay? Uh, well, uh, did, that's, is that the end of the story? Not, not at all, because the circuit tick zeta uh, is a good choice, but for us have, uh, has some uh, minor issues. Uh, aesthetical ones and, and also practical ones. No? Uh, when you write a circuit in tick zeta, you end up um, in circuit tick zeta, you end up um, uh, specifying absolute coordinates uh, all the time, and this is not, uh, it's not very good. No? Also, if you, if you look uh, at the, the graphic of, of the, on, the, on the right, you see that this other graphic is more consistent, with the, the line width is more consistent, the, the elements are mm, better pro pro proportionate, no? and mm, the syntax uh, here you don't have the you don't have the syntax, but it's clear in some ways. No, so we decided to use a thing called circuit macros, uh, which I described a, a bit later. No? So what is what's PyCircuit? PyCircuit um, 
Obviously, when you describe a circuit uh, textually, you need some, some sort of visual feedback. And uh, by circuit is a, an application that um, uh, has uh, in the, those in the, in the background some compilation steps and presents the result to you uh, in a visual form. Okay, it's, a, it's an application written in Python, in Python 3, I'm using PyQt 5, so it, it works in Windows, Linux, and Mac. Uh, it's multi-platform and has two modes of operation. Here is the, the, the graphical user interface mode and also has a, a command line interface to process files in batch mode. Uh, how it works? Uh, first step is to describe your circuit diagram in a source file. Uh, and in the source file, uh, you put the elements using a circuit ma macros, which are a set of macros written by Dr. Apovich. Uh, of the Waterloo University in Canada. And then uh, you use the M4 utility, the GNU M4 utility, to uh, process this source file and expand the macros into a PIC language. PIC language, unfort unfortunately, is, is not understood di uh, directly by, by LaTeX. So you need another step, which is um, uh, done by, by the, the PIC utility uh, that it's also written by Dr. Applewich. And uh, the, the PIC utility converts the source, uh, in this case the PIC source file, into a, a, a various languages, which uh, some of them are generic and some of them are LaTeX specific. No? We chose, uh, for our purposes, the first one. So uh, here we have uh, the two steps I mentioned uh, earlier, are here mm, depicted in in Fosden violet color, no? and you end up with a TIGZETA file, which uh, you can embed this in, in, in a, min, a minimal LaTeX document, process uh, it to obtain a PDF file, and then this PDF file mm, uh, per, uh, process it again to obtain a, a raster file, a PDJ file in this case, to visualize it. So, uh, mm, as a bonus, at the user request, we can also generate other formats like SVG, uh, JPEG, etc. No? So this is the whole picture, essentially. No? Uh, now, the PyCircuit is in Debian testing, so uh, Debian, users can Debian testing user can install it uh, straight, pretty straightforward. Uh, if you don't have Debian testing or you have other operating systems, you can use uh, PyPy or uh, pip inst install to, to install it in your computer, and the sources are on, on GitHub. No? Uh, if you inst install it by hand, you have to install other, other de dependencies. Uh, you can see the readme file to, to, to see it. No? So let's do a, a little demonstration. Here you have uh, the graphical user interface and you can start to enter the code here. This is a minimal template that the, uh, the PyCircuit offers when, you, when it starts. So we, can, uh, we start with a source, with a, a source um, in the upper direction. You can parameterize it, uh, is, it, it with various symbols. Here you have, for instance, in the documentation, you have uh, all the possibilities for the source element. It's very well do documented, the, the, circuit, the circuit macros. So you can change, for instance, in this case, uh, to a square wave. Uh, we can apply a, a label. In this case, the label is a left label because uh, going up, the label uh, uh, is in your left uh, hand. No? And uh, it accepts three parameters, A, B, C, that goes in the, into the bottom center and upper uh, position. So you can change that to the symbols to, to specify the, the, the voltage. And now we are at the top of this source, so we can add other elements. Here a resistor in the right direction with length L. And we, call, we can add a label too to the top. This time uh, we are at only one, one symbol. The other are blank, the other two. Now, uh, 
we are always at the relative position. We are now at the, at the right side of the resistance. So uh, you don't have to, to push this button every time. You can write some comments and uh, see the result later. For instance, here's a capacitor in the down direction. And uh, we had, for instance, uh, a line. Line is a, a command in the peak language. You can mix circuit macros and peak language here. And the line go, uh, is drawn from the bottom of the capacitor. If you want to draw it uh, from the top, you can add a, a label and then uh, specify it and th this line has to be drawn from this label. So then you can uh, complete the circuit, or close the circuit, adding, for instance, a, a gap, which is drawn in the down di direction from this last point. Uh, C label is a label centered, so we can add here the output voltage. And finally, we want to close the circuit, drawing a line to the, to the start of the, of the graph. But uh, well, we, we missed here the C, the label from, uh, for the capacitor. So uh, if you want to specify a, a line to the start, we have to define another level, label. So we go here, and we can declare a label. Here is always the, 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 uh, the actual position. And then we uh, draw a line to start. OK? So the graphic is uh, of great quality. And you can save it and export it with the other button to the, uh, so the formats you, you, you want. Uh, and the, the formats you want, you uh, choose in the settings, in the settings me me menu. Okay. Uh, also, uh, you have all the power of, LAT of LATEC to typeset formulas. So here you have a more complicated expression for your series from, for this uh, label. And you save and export it. Okay. This is the, the, the idea. Uh, if you want to, to see how the command line works, uh, so you have here some files, and uh, we can we can activate the. Well, this is a, a, a thing um, that is necessary if you execute the Py circuit in a, virt in a in a Python inside a Python virtual environment. So the the command line has all these options. You can uh, process uh, files and, and write the result in TXZ format, PDF, PNG, JTP, SVG. You, ca you can specify the resolution of output raster images, the quality of uh, lossy formats, destination directory, etc. So, for instance, here we specify, we call PyCircuit, and we ask for a PDF format, a PNG format with a dots per inch resolution of 250. And all the circuits uh, uh, end it in CKT. If, you, if this process encounters an error, you uh, can choose to abort, to skip this file, to, to abort all the, the whole process, to skip this file, or to open the, uh, the graphical user interface to see what's happening. So in this case, we choose uh, the latter. And here's an unknown comment. I, I put it uh, uh, on purpose. You can correct the error, save it, pressing Control S or something. And the process uh, follows. Okay? So it's, that's in essential the, 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 work, the working of, of PyCircuit. No? Uh, the future work, here you have. I don't have um, much time to explain it, but it's uh, self-explainable. Uh, and, uh, well, I would like to, to finish it, uh, the talk, by uh, showing you the, relevance, uh, the relevant links of the, of the project and uh, acknowledging the, the, the work of the many people, people sorry, that uh, had, has... Uh, preceded us to, to well, 
and, and wrote the software upon PySQL is based. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.